For decades it was thought that water was prevalent in the outer reaches of the solar system early in its history, with comets and asteroids delivering moisture to Earth and the inner planets during the late heavy bombardment period around 4 billion years ago. An abundance of ice in places like the Kuiper Belt, the ring of ice steroids in the outer solar system supports the idea. However, the hypothesis could not be tested until it became possible to study extrasolar systems in the early stages of formation. Thanks to the JWST, scientists finally have hard evidence that this theory is correct. According to a recent study led by researchers from Johns Hopkins University, the Space Telescope detected water ice in the debris disk that orbits HD 181327, a Sun-like star 155 light-years from Earth. Just 23 million years old, this system is quite young compared to the solar system, which is 4.6 billion years and counting. As a result, the star is surrounded by a protoplanetary disk that has not yet coalesced to form a system of planets. Studying stars this young allows astronomers to observe a system still in the early stages of formation. Webb unambiguously detected not just water ice but crystalline water ice which is also found in locations like Saturn's rings and icy bodies in our solar system's Kuiper belt. When those icy bodies collide,